Coach. Um, obviously, the beginning of the second half was a big key for us uh, to get some transition baskets, and we went to the pick and roll in the middle of the floor. Thought gave us some opportunities that TJ Starks made the right plays, and we were able to get our confidence back going on the offensive end. That was a big difference. It, we felt like we missed a lot of shots in the first half, took too many perimeter shots in the first half, didn't get enough post touches, and uh, therefore making shots always refuels your defense, and the opposite happened to Kentucky, I think, in the second half. What were you telling them at halftime exactly? We said, hey, we were playing hard, but offensively we, we thought we didn't have enough ball movement, we didn't get enough post touches. We, we got... We got caught up in the emotion of the game and took some quick shots on the perimeter and didn't make them. And over a period of time, it's hard to defend consistently when you're not scoring. How much of an, uh, of an edge did the guys come out with knowing what happened January 9th, close loss at Rupp Arena? Obviously, this is an opportunity to get a little payback. Yeah, I don't even know if it was that much. Is Our team's so different today than it was back then. We're playing guys differently. It rolls a little bit different. Um, I think it's more that we're playing well and, we, and we've got Admon back. It was a big help. He's, he's healthy and TJ Starks has been a big lift offensively and that's been the biggest thing. And DJ Hogue's got it going a little bit and our post guys have been consistent all year at the four and the five. I, and with Tony Trosha coming off the bench, I think those three guys are as good as any post guys in the country, and they've been consistent all year. How important is it for your offense to have DJ shooting with some confidence? DJ or TJ? DJ. DJ. He, he's, he's a weapon because he's got good size on the perimeter, and when he's making shots, it just opens up the floor to one-on-one -on -one play with, for Tyler and our post guys. How much, uh, Billy, does banking in the shots from the top of the key area? <laughs> give a team a psychological boost or something? The bank was open, as we say, and, 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 and we, to make two of them, it's very rare. I mean, it was just our night, you know, we, we made shots and bank shots in, in the, really the second half, and I was a little concerned. I thought we wore down and not having Dwayne Wilson down the stretch hurt us some. Um, just his experience at the point guard spot. TJ was tired and got sped up and got it's a new situation for him. How is Dwayne? He's he's beat up. You know, the Auburn game and this game we'll have to take a look. He didn't practice the last two days and uh, so we'll have to take a look at whether or not he needs more rest to get him healthier because his knee is swelling up uh, after games and this schedule's playing Saturday, Tuesday's quick turnaround. In this league is um, pretty challenging. Because you talk about the bank shots and everything, but when you beat them down court twice for you <coughs> dunks with the big guys, that that's probably as disheartening to another team. Yeah, well, we got some transition baskets and we put pressure on the basket. You know, and I thought we only had nine turnovers for the game, and but Kentucky had some key turnovers that led to transition baskets that. You can tell, I mean, it, this has got to be the youngest Kentucky team I've, I've ever played against. I mean, they, they, they make mistakes that freshmen make in, in the heat of the game and on the road. And uh, John's done a terrific job with, with this team because they are, I told him at the end of the game, man, yeah, it's, it's the youngest team. They, they played like a young team tonight. You said you moved to the pick and roll in the middle of the floor in the second half. What, what, why? What did you, why did you think that would work? We were trying to open the floor up and try to get paint touches. We didn't get enough paint touches in the first half. Everything was on the perimeter. And we did that, and then we went to some things offensively, uh, crossing on the baseline, really trying to get guys open on the wing and, and get the ball inside, post touches from the wing, and that helped us, I thought. Two wins against top 25 opponents now the upcoming week. You're on the road against two teams that want to get you guys back. So, yeah. you know, uh, just just kind of give us a uh, you know, just discuss that and uh, what, what, what are the plans? What are you telling the guys? Well, this with this team and the way the makeup of this team, we've been focused on trying to win one day at a time, not get too far ahead. 
And so tomorrow is the big key to, for us to rest up some and, and get better and just focus on one day at a time because we don't, we've got some of the immaturity and we're playing some young guys at times that can make mistakes on the floor that Kentucky made t t tonight. And when you get out of rhythm and you start thinking too far ahead, that's when you get in trouble when you're not disciplined enough as a team on both ends of the floor. And that's something we're still working on. You could see it at the end of the game. 10 second call by a freshman who's tired who's it it's just you, you can't make those plays and win at a high level um, it'll get you some point and uh, that's something we got to continue to clean up and get better at I feel like this team the arena looked like this every, every night it was definitely different it was rocking you know and then um, our fans and students have been good for us all year and it was obviously a big bonus tonight you feel like this team is hitting the stride right now I hope so. I know we're getting better. We've gotten better. You know, we're, we're not giving up baskets on underneath out of bounds. We're not having some sloppy turnovers. Again, to only have nine turnovers is, is pretty good. Uh, you win a lot of games when you don't turn the ball over and, 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 and you take care of the ball and you rebound as well as we rebound. All five starters, one of the little figures that you envisioned at the beginning of this year with this team because you <clears> talked about the balance. The balance. And, and when we were 11 and 1, we almost, I think we had six guys close to being in double figures. And that, that's that's our, the makeup of our team. We don't have a guy that's going to go get you 25 or 30 on a given night, but we got guys who can get you, when we share the ball, can get you 15 to 20. What's the ceiling for your guys, Billy? What, what do you think you guys can accomplish? Shoot, we're just trying to win tomorrow, you know. Um, you know, a lot of it's going to be how our maturity continues to happen on the perimeter. Can we get consistent play on the perimeter? Because we have proven that we're going to get consistent play from our big guys. Anything else?